Hey guys, this is Jamie with Point Tech. We're bringing you another do-it-yourself computer repair video today. Uh, we're working with an Acer laptop, and we're going to be showing you how to address a blue screen error. Uh, the blue screen of death, as some call it. Uh, basically, this can give you numerous different error codes. It can get stuck loading on a blue screen. You can see that loading bar or the swirly loading icon. Basically, what's happening is your computer is trying to start. It's running into an unexpected error, uh, and this can either be software or hardware related. So today we're going to show you how to locate exactly and isolate what's causing it, whether software or hardware, uh, and then obviously how to fix it. Now, side point, this can occasionally be caused by an overheating computer, this type of error. So if your palm rest is hot to the touch, it could just be a simple issue with overheating. In the description we have a, uh, a link to a video that shows you how to open this computer up and clean it out and stop it from overheating if that is what you think is causing it. But assuming it's not overheating, let's move on. We'll show you how to check first uh, some settings in BIOS. Um, and that way, hopefully, if it's that, uh, it'll resolve the issue right away. So let's show you how to do that. So first thing we want to do is hit your power button. And I'm going to hold down on the F2 key. Just to be sure, Google your own model. And make sure that F2 is the right key to access BIOS for your computer. Uh, because they can vary. So power button. F2. So this is your BIOS uh, menu. Uh, depending on your model or how old your computer is, it could look a little different, but the information we need will still be there. Uh, we can tab, or I'm sorry, we can use our arrow keys uh, to select different tabs we want. So on my main tab, you see system time and system date here. That's what we're looking for. Again, I'm using my arrow keys to go up and down to select them. And on some computers it's tab, but on this one it's enter. Uh, that's how we move between the values of the system data as you can see or the system time. So what you're going to want to do here is make sure your time and date settings are correct. If these are wrong, they can cause all sorts of errors in your computer. It can even prevent your computer from starting. Uh, so that's what you want to do is make sure your time and date settings are correct. Uh, and then when you're done, uh, on the bottom, a lot of BIOS systems will have hotkeys you can hit for save and exit. Uh, here it says F10, or you can arrow over to the exit tab uh, and, and it will have these choices that you can select by just hit, hitting enter. Uh, so after you've done that, you would try your computer again, see if it turns on, see if it was as simple as your date and time settings. If it was, great. Uh, if not, we're going to move on to uh, checking your RAM to see if that is what's wrong and if that is what's uh, stopping you from being able to boot up your computer. So after you've checked your BIOS date and time, hopefully that solved it, but if it didn't, now we're going to start checking our, our, our RAM uh, to see if that's what's going wrong with our computer. So flip your computer over and take out the screws to your access panels, hopefully you have them. If not, you would have to take out the screws to the entire bottom case and remove that uh, to get into your computer. So we're looking for your RAM sticks here. Most likely you do have more than one. Uh, so the process of elimination, what we're going to do is we're going to remove one stick of RAM. They're held in uh, by metal brackets that are holding it in with springs. So to remove a stick, push these apart, pull it out. Now try starting your computer again to see if that was the issue. If your computer starts, then great. If not, then we repeat the process with the next stick of RAM. Plug this back in and then remove this one. Now try starting your computer again. If at any of these stages your computer starts and you have a bad stick of RAM, we have a link in the description to show you how to identify what stick of RAM you need to replace it with so it'll be compatible for your computer. There's a lot of numbers here, uh, so we, we show you how to, how to look for one. Uh, if that didn't work, here's where it gets kind of sticky with this process of elimination. Uh, and, and, and just be assured, we do do this in our shop. Sometimes our diagnostic software doesn't work for whatever reason, um, so we have to go through this hardware process of elimination. Sometimes a bad stick of RAM can also cause your operating system to not work correctly. So what that means is if I take out the bad stick of RAM, even without this plugged in, the operating system still won't load and the computer still won't start because the damage has already been done. So unfortunately, we have to repeat so unfortunately, we have to repeat this process with your operating system. So what I would do now, if n none of these came back as, as showing that they were bad, uh, I would reinstall uh, your operating system. 
Uh, we have another link in the description showing you how to install your operating system. And as long as you're doing that, you may as well upgrade to Windows 10. We show you how to do it for free uh, or very cheaply. Uh, so reinstall your operating system. If you install your operating system and it works out fine, then your hardware is fine and it was just your operating system and everything's good. Problem solved. Uh, if it doesn't install correctly, we're going to repeat the RAM test with the operating system. So we remove one stick of RAM like we did before and we try to reinstall the operating system again. If it works, then great. Just like last time, we know that we had a bad stick. If it doesn't work, replace this, remove this one, and try to install the operating system again. Again, either it will work, in which case you know your RAM is bad, or it won't, in which case we move on to the last step. It's possible that you could have a, a faulty hard drive in your computer that's preventing all of this from working. Uh, again, without diagnostic software, we can't tell. So what we would suggest is purchase another hard drive or use one from another computer you have that works. Uh, but if you buy one, buy one with a, uh, a, a return policy uh, so that if it doesn't work, you can return it if you find out it wasn't your hard drive. Uh, but please uh, like and share if this video was helpful, if it helped you solve your problem. This was a long process of uh, testing everything, the RAM tests. So if you got stuck at any point, uh, if you have any questions or anything, please leave a comment. We will get back to you. Uh, and if you enjoy do-it-yourself laptop repair, uh, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.